New effort underway to keep dolphins out of Scottsdale. Nearly 100,000 people right here have signed this petition to close down a controversial business before it even opens. ABC 15's Nick Van Sant spoke with opponents of Dolphin Heiress. Nick, why do they want this thing banned? Well, when we talked with them, they believe that attractions like this are animal abuse. But as you can see right behind me, this facility is almost done. So it may be too late for anything to change. In just a few months, you'll be able to play with dolphins in Scottsdale, an experience developers say is amazing and opponents say is animal abuse. Legal doesn't mean it's ethical or right. To exploit uh, these sentient beings for our entertainment is just uh, old school. Courtney Vale is a member of one of two groups trying to stop dolphin areas from opening. Since the project is being built on land owned by the Salt River Pima Indian community, Vale sent this letter to the tribe asking them to shut it down. And online, nearly 100,000 people have recently signed a petition saying no to captive dolphins in Arizona. Hopefully we still can open dialogue with, with the stakeholders because I think the public is speaking loud and clear how they feel about this project. Dolphin Harris officials weren't available for an on-camera interview, but in a statement, they say that all of the dolphins were born in captivity, will be watched over by a team of licensed veterinarians, and that, quote, the mission of Dolphinaris Arizona is to amaze, inspire, and empower guests by encouraging them to become stewards of the oceans and its inhabitants. Company officials went on to say that at first there will be between 9 and 12 dolphins. One big source of controversy is exactly where these dolphins are going to be coming from. The company would not comment on that, but most of their other facilities are in Mexico. Back to you.